Greetings, members of the Public Work and Transportation Committee, Mayor, Mayor Pro Tem, members of Council, City Manager, and the viewing public. My name is Todd Vasquez Housley, and I am the Division Manager for the City of Oxnard Environmental Resources Division. This presentation is for the Agreement with Waste Management of California Incorporated for Solid Waste Disposal at Simi Valley Landfill for the Public Works and Transportation Committee meeting of April 13th, 2021, and the City Council meeting of May 4th, 2021. Recommendation for the Public Works and Transportation Committee meeting of April 13th, 2021. That the Public Works and Transportation Committee recommend that the City Council approve addendum number six to the Simi Valley Landfill and Recycling Center Expansion Project Final Environmental Impact Report and approve and authorize the mayor to execute agreement A-8280 with Waste Management of California Incorporated for a five-year term for an estimated value of $53,210,723 effective May 5th 2021 through May 4th, 2026 for solid waste disposal at the Simi Valley Landfill. Recommendation for the City Council meeting of May 4th, 2021. That the City Council approve addendum number six to the Simi Valley Landfill and Recycling Center Expansion Project Final Environmental Impact Report and Approve and authorize the mayor to execute agreement A-8280 with Waste Management of California Incorporated for a five-year term for an estimated value of $53,210,723 effective May 5th, 2021 through May 4th, 2026 for solid waste disposal at the Simi Valley Landfill. The City of Oxnard Environmental Resources Division provides for the collection and processing of waste, recyclables, and organic material to approximately 52,453 customer accounts. Materials are processed through the city-owned Del Norte Regional Recycling and Transfer Station, or Del Norte, at 111 South Del Norte Boulevard in Oxnard. After necessary material sorting, excess solid waste is loaded onto trucks and transported for disposal at two regional landfills. Currently, those landfills are Solon Road Landfill, operated by Ventura Regional Sanitation District, or VRSD, and Simi Valley Landfill, operated by Waste Management of California Incorporated, or WMC. Last year, the city of Oxnard transferred approximately 280,000 tons of solid waste to both landfills. The table below summarizes the agreements. Agreement A-5906 with the VRSD allows for disposal of 48% of Del Norte's daily transferred solid waste at Tolan Road Landfill. The current rate per ton at Tolan Road Landfill is $32.81. Agreement A-7618 with Waste Management allows for solid waste disposal of the balance of 52% of Del Norte's daily transferred solid waste at the Simi Valley Landfill. The agreement also allows for up to 100% disposal if Tolan is closed. The current rate per ton at Simi Valley Landfill is $31.99. Both agreements were set to expire on November 14, 2020, but were extended through May 14, 2021 by City Council action on October 20, 2020. This allowed for sufficient time to complete an RFP process, select a new vendor, seek council approval, and generate new agreements. 
In order to ensure the best value for Oxnard residents and ratepayers, staff regularly reviews vendor costs and services. With current landfill agreements set to expire, a request for proposals, RFP number ER 20-96, was initiated on June 17, 2020. The RFP was sent to Waste Management, VRSD, and Waste Connections. Waste Connections is the owner operator of the Chiquita Canyon Landfill in Castaic. These are the only three permitted landfills considered local based upon their proximity to the Del Norte facility. The RFP was also posted on the city's website and at www.publicpurchase.com. Concurrently, the city contracted with Kennedy Chains Consulting to assist in preparing methodologies to evaluate responses to the RFP. By the July 29th, 2020 deadline, the city received two qualified proposals, one from VRSD and one from Waste Management. After receiving the RFPs, staff set up RFP review process proposal meetings with each vendor. On September 10th, 2020, staff met with Waste Management of California. Purpose of this meeting was to ensure that there were no contingencies with respect to the submitted pricing, provide an opportunity for waste management to sub submit a best and final offer to which waste management responded and provided updated pricing on, on October 12th, 2020 as shown in table two on the next slide. The updated pricing reduces the 100% per ton rate to $28.99 per ton. On September 14th, 2020, staff met with VRSD. Purpose of this meeting was to request information on a timeline for the completion of the permit modification described in their RFP proposal. Also to discuss guarantees that VRSD would provide for the pricing between 50% and 100% of daily Oxnard solid waste if the permit modification was not approved. We also provided them with an opportunity to submit a best and final offer. VRSD was unable to provide further information and did not provide updated pricing. Table two reflects the disposal cost per ton provided by each bidder after meeting with both companies. The VRSD proposal includes pricing that is contingent upon a landfill permit modification and states, VRSD hereby guarantees that it will accept up to 50% of the city's solid waste on both a daily and annual basis throughout the term of the future agreement. VRSD hereby guarantees that it will accept up to 100% of the city's solid waste on both a daily and annual basis throughout the term of the future agreement, conditional upon approval of modification to all relevant permits which currently limits daily and annual tonnage acceptance at the landfill in accordance with the Tolan Optimization Plan. The Tolan Optimization Plan requests a daily allowable tonnage limit of 2,864 tons per day. No timelines or additional details were mentioned regarding the modification to all relevant permits. Until final approval of a new permit through all regulatory authorities, the Tolan Road landfill is not able to accept more than 50% of the Del Norte daily capacity. Staff proceeded to compare both proposals to determine the best value while meeting the city's requirements. This comparison also included analysis of transportation costs for each landfill location, 
and adjustments for any statutory sur surcharges, which, which both proposers would pass through to the city. Staff's recommendation to select waste management as a successful proposal was scheduled for January 12th, 2021, Public Works and Transportation Committee meeting. On January 12th, 2021, the city received a letter from BRSD entitled, item number D2 for the January 12th, 2021 City of Oxnard Public Works and Transportation Committee agenda. Agreement with Waste Management of California Incorporated for Solid Waste Disposal. This letter questioned the city's recommendation. It also required review by city staff and the city attorney. To provide city staff with adequate time to address the VRSD letter, the city manager requested that the landfill agenda item be continued from the Public Works and Transportation Committee meeting on January 12, 2021 to a future meeting. On January 1st, 2021, a County of Ventura County surcharge fee at the Simi Valley Landfill and Recycling Center increased by seven cents per ton. As a public agency, VRSD does not pay this surcharge and their proposal pricing did not change. Table three on the next slide reflects the appropriate changes to proposal pricing with current city transfer fleet costs per ton. Again, table three is an overview of updated rates, including January 1st, 2021 county surcharge increases and city transfer fleet costs per ton. Table four takes the results of table three and projects an estimated annual cost from each proposal, including city fleet transfer costs. Evaluation of the proposals. Waste management has provided a proposal that guarantees competitive pricing for up to 100% of the city's transferred solid waste. The Simi Valley landfill is a state permitted landfill owned and operated by Waste Management of California Incorporated and is located at 2801 Madera Road in Simi Valley. The Simi Valley landfill has been in operation since 1970 and is permitted to accept a daily waste capacity of 8,000 tons through the year 2062. Waste management also provided pricing for three backup landfills should Simi Valley landfill close for any reason. The backup landfills are Palmdale Landfill, located in Palmdale, California, Lancaster Landfill, located in Lancaster, California, and El Sobrante Landfill, located in Corona, California. Staff are exploring opportunities for providing more efficient operations and further lowering costs and vehicle emissions based on additional services offered through the waste management proposal. One option is to use a larger capacity tipper trailer for hauling of solid waste. Tipper trailers are mechanically simpler and require no mechanism for offloading at the landfill. This translates to 15% more capacity than the walking floor trailers currently used. They're less expensive to purchase, operate, and maintain. The larger capacity of tipper trailers also translates to a reduction of greenhouse gases by requiring fewer trips to and from the landfill. Simi Valley Landfill supports tipper style trailers. Tolan Landfill does not. In summary, the VRSD proposal clearly states that the Tolan landfill is not capable of accepting more than 50% of the city's daily tonnage without final approval of a permit modification. VRSD's proposed rate per ton at the lower daily tonnage percentage amounts 
50% and below are not as competitive as the waste management proposal. Additionally, staff is looking to improve efficiency and reduce costs and greenhouse gases by implementing tipper style trailers. This is not supported in the BRSD proposal. Because of these factors, staff is recommending to move forward with an agreement with waste management for 100% of the city's daily tonnage. At the proposed price of $29.06 per ton, this will save the city a minimum of $700,000 annually compared to current annual costs. Environmental determination. The City of Oxnard staff is preparing addendum number six to the certified Simi Valley Landfill and Recycling Center Expansion Project or SVLRC Environmental Impact Report, EIR, and addendum number six will be included as an attachment to the staff report provided to the full council. Addendum number six is being prepared pursuant to the requirements of the California Environmental Quality Act, CEQA, Public Resources Code 21000, the regulations promulgated thereafter, 14 California Code of Regulations, 1500, and CEQA guidelines. Addendum number six is appropriate pursuant to CEQA guidelines 15164, since staff has found that no additional potentially significant impacts were identified for this project. Only minor changes and additions to the SVLRC EIR are necessary to address the project changes. The original mitigations will remain applicable and no circumstances exist calling for the preparation of an additional CEQA document pursuant to CEQA guidelines 15162 and 15163. Therefore, staff has determined that there is no substantial evidence that the project would result in new or substantially more severe impacts than those identified in the SVLRC, EIR, and associated addenda. Accordingly, None of the conditions that trigger the need to prepare a subsequent environmental impact report pursuant to CEQA guidelines 15162 or negative declaration would occur. Pursuant to CEQA guidelines 15164, the city shall consider addendum number six prior to taking action on the project. Financial impact statement. The proposed agreement has an estimated value of $53,210,723 over a five-year term from May 5th, 2021 through May 4th, 2026. This agreement and value includes an annual tonnage growth rate of 3.2%, annual CPI increase of 2.5%, and an annual 2.5% for landfill regulatory fees assessed to waste management by government agencies for the tonnage delivered by the city at the Simi Valley landfill. These are extremely conservative estimates in order to ensure proper budgeting. This table shows the proposed annual costs projected out through the term of the agreement. Funds are budgeted and currently available in the Environmental Resources Enterprise Fund, account 631-6314-844-82-68 to cover for the cost of waste disposal at the Simi Valley Landfill for the remaining period of fiscal year 2020-2021. These funds were approved by council through the fiscal year 2020-2021 budget process. The cost for future waste disposal in subsequent fiscal years will be requested during those budget processes. This concludes my presentation. I look forward to answering any questions at the April 13th, 2021 Public Works and Transportation Committee meeting. 
and the May 4th, 2021 City Council meeting. Thank you.